Recently, I bought DJ Pocket 2 after I saw all the hype and all the reviews and everything. So, is this the best vlogging camera that is out there? The best mini camera for vlogging with a gimbal and stabilization? So, if you want to find out, then stay with me till the end. It comes in two variants. One is the DJI, which was around 369 euros in Netherlands and another version which is the DJI Pocket 2 creator combo which has also the uh, the wireless microphone additionally attached to it and uh, there is a stand in the bottom so you can you have this nice case along with wide angle lens and everything so I can show you just take it out of the case so let me switch it on there is a very cool quick start switch which is like one second it take one seconds to start see it's on so it's already recording you can see it's already recording so it's very it feels really nice it has an attachment on the bottom which can be removed like this by pressing so if you press it from here then you can remove the attachment so this is essentially it helps to connect your wireless microphone otherwise dji is like this and there is a cap below which you can attach which was there in the creator combo initially and apart from that the creator combo has a kind of a uh, attachment to connect to your smart smartphone so here you can see this thing is removable so initially this was not there you can just slide it and remove it like this and then what happens is this thing helps you to control your joystick and different modes of the gimbal so there is a joystick to connect to control different modes of the gimbal and also the and it also helps you to zoom I did not try that much but I had some trial runs which you will see in the screen soon about walking and running and trying different modes. are freezing it's really cold Ooh, around zero degree so i have to go i will find some other location some other day to shoot something more should we start the run i think we should this is already down so it's helping me but still you can see how the gimbal is This is kind of a fast run. Fast run! There's another button here which helps you to uh, control the gimbal mode. So you can change different modes of the gimbal. And this joystick can also help you to zoom. And this button is quick mode change. This button. Sorry, not this. This button. So you can change between photo and video very quickly and this is to start taking the picture or taking the video if you want to change more modes it has more modes like time lapse or something else uh, there are many modes time lapse slow motion then you can 
do the touch screen method or right to left on the touch screen if you want to change other modes like apart from the photo and video which can be done by this button you can remove this attachment and connect another small attachment which is there for the phone so they have two connectors one USB-C one lightning that you can plug it in here by removing this and that can be connected to a phone where you can do editing with the DJI MIMO app and also you can uh, use that to connect to uh, see everything on the big screen on the phone and have better control if you don't like the small screen or you don't know how the small screen shows you the quality of the photo or the video that you are taking so it's up to you I took some photos and the photos kind of looked good because they were in low light in the evening and I like the quality of the photos when I compare to my OnePlus 70 phone photos and also the GoPro photos that I used to take in GoPro Hero 7 Black. Once you switch it off, it immediately locks itself. See? And then you can put it like this to protect the main part in the case. So the case is really nice because it can house this and apart from this you have this wireless receiver which you have seen in the video that i made some trials you have this wireless receiver which you can attach here and you also have a windshield which you can put on top this is all in the creator combo you can find the links below those are affiliate links which will help me and it won't harm you if you buy from there for both netherlands and india I am now using the microphone given by the DJI, the external microphone given by the DJI. Let me quickly switch the camera by pressing this three times. Okay, you can see it right in the collar. So I am, oh, I should not have come this way, it's muddy. It's a rainy winter, but today it's not as cold as it was like freezing yesterday. It's eight degrees. And this is the microphone without the, the stereo microphone inbuilt to the DJI without my. This is the stereo microphone attached to the DJI without me saying to the connected wireless microphone. This is not with the wireless microphone, but without the wireless microphone. Let me switch on the wireless microphone again. Because it's... See, the connection is seamless. I'm just walking and I disconnect and connect. Immediately when you connect, it connects. And immediately I disconnect, it disconnects. So, apart from this, what you have is... In this case... You have this connector that I was mentioning, let me remove it, which kind of helps you to connect to your phone. You can keep it just like attach it here very nicely. So you can attach it here. This is the USB-C if you want to connect your phone. And apart from that, it has a wide angle lens, which I showed you. So back to the video took some pictures you might have seen already now also let me test the wide angle the good thing is that this case has everything like the stand the oh it also focuses it says focusing field so now now it can focus that's good so it is attached by a magnet and uh, when I connect it then you must see it let me see in the middle of the video what enhancement you see. Okay, so it says ND filter installed, although it is the wide angle case. Do you notice any difference with the wide angle case? Let me remove the wide angle case. Now the ND filter is removed. Do you notice any difference? Let me connect the wide angle case. ND filter installed. Do you notice any difference with the wide angle lens? Everything you get here 
you can find in the description link below for buyers in Netherlands or in India. I don't know. I don't spot that much difference. Maybe when I edit it, I might see it. Let me keep the lens safe in the case. The magnet, yeah. So in the bottom of the wireless receiver, you can attach this when you do time lapse or you keep the DJI on a surface. So you have this here attached like this. I remove it from here and then you can open it up. Connect it to the case below. Yeah, so if you connect it here, then you can easily keep it on the surface and make videos. So once you are in the video mode, you can better use a phone for active track. It will be easier for you to uh, see which area of the screen you want to do. But if you are in the video mode and you double tap that area of the screen that you want to active track, then it starts the active track. Tracking my face So the moment I start moving fast it won't be able to cope with that Now it's okay. Everything's okay. It's slow. Okay See Immediately it was lost and oh it was good that the track was on again Let me see I do it two three times and if it loses completely Okay, it's coming back hmm, loses temporarily so what happens if I move out of the subject area well now it cannot move even though I am little bit inside oh now it lost so the thing is if it loses for a long period of time then the active track completely is lost so there is a momentary period so if you are dancing then it might come back depending on there are multiple disadvantages of active track as you can see now even the microphone that is given by DJI itself if you don't use the wireless microphone it has four stereo microphones so it has four small holes for that one this on four sides the second one is here and this is the third one and on the back the fourth one so you have four different slots so it has as they claim and I also see in different videos the audio has improved a lot as compared to DJI Pocket 1 so even without wireless microphone this is advantages but if you want to go far and make it really a good vlogging camera i would highly advise to buy the creator combo where you get everything that i showed you now so as i mentioned the battery was around 90 minutes and uh, the charging time was around 70 to 75 minutes as i saw i have not used the dji that much you saw some of the trials that i made so i hope you like this video and uh, Comparing to the GoPro that I had, which is again a small camera but not that good stabilization, I would 100% recommend this even though you pay a lot which is like 509 euros uh, for buying TJI Creator Combo uh, because of the stability, the detection, uh, quality, footage, audio quality and different kind of enhancements. So what do you think? Do you think that is DJI Pocket 2 the best mini camera for vlogging? Let me know in the comments below if you are thinking to buy one you can also ask your questions till next video goodbye from Netherlands don't forget to smash the like button share this video subscribe to the channel to see more videos about studying and living in Netherlands and also different tech reviews that of the gadgets that I buy I will be looking forward to hear from you bye